So last night I drove up to Vermont and I camped in the car. And then I, when I woke up, I went snowboarding all day. So I'm planning on camping in the car again tonight. And I just want to show you my setup. Super basic. We're not talking about, you know, van life or anything. I'm talking Subaru Impreza sedan. I'm going to show you how I set it up. There's also a severe weather warning. Um, they're supposed to get 14, potentially 14, maybe 18 inches of snow tonight. So it could be really interesting. Luckily, I'm right next to the lift. So even if I get completely snowed in, my car snowed in, I'm still snowboarding tomorrow. So the basic setup is I have cooler and I'm using snowballs as ice. I have this box which I made actually last year for camping and it has everything. It has my gas, my propane stove, cooking stuff, washing stuff. Um, this is basically put this box in the car, you can survive. And so the basic setup is my head goes here and I put my feet all the way down there in the corner. And I use this double mattress made by Climate. It's an insulated mattress and you inflate it using the bag that it comes in. It fits like perfect in a small SUV or a small sedan. It's a perfect size. So the basic idea, you just put some air in there and as you fill it up, you push the air into the mattress. You really only have to do this maybe five or six times and it completely fills the mattress up. So there's no need to get a pump. Highly recommend a mattress like this. I think it was maybe $65 on Amazon. So now it's nice and firm. You just disconnect it right here. Close up that tab and you're done. The next part, which is just completely convenience, comfort based, I have a second mattress and I'm gonna put it where my shoulders go. Which just gives me extra padding for my shoulders. And this is the uh, idea right here. Voila. Feet go down in the corner. In my Subaru Impreza. And I'm 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 so pretty comfortable. Now I'm gonna cook myself a little uh, sirloin and some Southwest style beans and white quinoa because I need to replenish my protein. So I'll show you how I get everything ready inside the car, take it out, start up the stove, and then cook up the meat out there. Okay, so I got the steak all cut up into some thin slices. We're gonna do almost like a Japanese or a Korean barbecue. I got some butter as well. And we're gonna go throw it out on my legendary grill and cook this stuff up. Also throw some of this in there. I'm gonna add water to this um, and almost make like a stewy soup so it doesn't get really stuck to the pan. Very primitive, but it cooks. It cooks like a dream. Okay, so we got a little bit of butter and we got our steak. We're gonna start frying up this steak.
Got a little bit of butter. We're gonna fry up this steak. I feel like I'm telling ghost stories. You know what's surprising? Like, I don't have a headlamp. And I haven't had one for years and years. It's time to get a headlamp, okay? Now I have this power blend going. I'm only gonna cook it for a few minutes because I'm pretty sure it's pre-cooked. The beans are soft. So we're just gonna give it a couple minutes. Bon appetit. It's absolutely disgusting. I would much rather eat my wife's cooking. But, you know, We men are a special breed. We're dumb. And we think this kind of stuff is fun. This steak's pretty good. I gotta admit, but I'm gonna miss my warm bed tonight. So, there's that. Luckily though, there's wine. Wine will warm you up through any blizzard. That's what I plan on doing. So with all that, cooking and eating, I ate. Um, I'm gonna say goodnight. Hopefully, hopefully I wake up and I just, my car is completely covered. That's the dream. Now we're gonna be snowboarding. First lift, first run of the day. Have a wonderful night.